True living Africa. True living Africa. Hello. Welcome to True Living Africa, your wellness podcast. I'm Uyok Hansen. And I'm Oyin Talavi. We are your health, health and, and wellness, wellness coaches. coaches. And we are here to help you live your best life. Yay! <laughs> Hello, Africa. How y'all doing today? Hey, Africa. What's up? <laughs> it's a good day, isn't it? it a is, rainy day, but good. It is. It's um. So speaking of rainy days, right? I went out this morning for a run. Um, In and the rain? No, no. It hadn't started raining then. Okay. And then the clouds started to form, mm. right? And I'm looking. I'm like, okay, maybe I need to run a bit faster so that I can get back you know beat the rain <laughs> beat the rain to my starting point and then i did something i said oh let's let me even check what the weather forecast yeah let me ask siri you know okay and i say oh siri what's the weather like today and siri says you know it's a bit cloudy but it's not going to rain so i then asked siri again i said siri is it going to rain today i don't think it's going to rain today it's just a bit cloudy as I hung up, I said, okay, that's amazing. You know, the power of technology. So I slowed down and I was just going. The next thing, <laughs> Siri got it wrong. I was like, F you, Siri. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> Nonsense. That's too funny. The rain just came from nowhere and beat the S out of me. <laughs> like, I was like, that's so much for Siri. Listen to Siri. Yeah, not- I know. <laughs> I know. So, yeah, let's not rely too much on these things. Exactly. As you follow your instincts sometimes. If it it feels like it's going to rain, it just might rain. It just might rain. So, yeah, but it was a beautiful morning. Yeah. And it did feel like Christmas a little bit to me. And, you know, that kind of end of year feeling. Yeah, Yeah, it is. It's it's flown by, but, you know, we're grateful that we are still standing. It's Mm -hmm. It's been an interesting year. Yeah. I know. It's been interesting. So today, what are we talking about? We are talking about detox. Detox. One of our favorite things. Yes. To do. And not only is it our favorite, one of our favorite things to do. It's one of the most fundamental things that we should be doing. That we should be doing. We should be living a detoxed life, Mm -hmm. right? A detoxified life as opposed to going on fancy detoxes every now and then exactly so yeah um, hopefully you followed our uh, you'll be following us the detox series uh, yes we did a series so we, we did a deep dive into how the body detoxifies itself yeah and how um we really should just support the body in that process of detoxification, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. can't go on your own and pull de- and you know you and pull, pull toxins, toxins out. out of your bloodstream. Yeah, our bodies are already designed, infinitely designed. intelligent, to detoxify itself. And de- detoxifying is important because of all the toxins we are bombarded As with a on a day to day. And you know, it's ridiculous. And we had this analogy about detox. Just to recap our yeah. previous um, yeah. our previous episodes. About how, you know, if you, if, for instance, you have a dishwasher in an Italian restaurant. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I, you know, I just imagined the dishwasher in an Italian restaurant. We know what you like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know that. So, and you know, that's one of the things I, yes, I always put on hold whenever, you know, I need a bit of. Well, yeah, the re- remove stage. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. You remove. I need to eliminate, pasta. you know, pasta. And so, um, just think about the dis, the dishwasher and yeah. how, um, you know, maybe it's, it's designed to serve a hundred, you know, wash a hundred plates on any given night, right? And on this busy night, it has 150 plates to wash. And of, obviously that automatically means that there's a 50 plate backlog. Yeah. What happens when we, ha- we bring another 150 plates the next day and so forth and you and just keep having that day. and yeah. you're doing this every day and having that backlog. And this is what we do to our system when we are bombarded with toxins from the food we eat, the air we breathe, yeah. just by being in this toxic environment yeah. and even some relationships, you know, add to our As in uh, to toxicity. our mental yes. and emotional toxicity. Exactly Very right. True. And so not taking the time to support the body to open up its own detoxification pathways yeah. will leave you with all this backlog oh, where you start, oh, wow. to, you know, overwhelmed, start to feel sluggish, yeah. tired. You've got brain fog. 
you're demotivated. Your skin is breaking out. You're breaking out. Your you're your ankles, your your knees and mm-hmm. joints hurt like crazy. Yeah. And you're just inflamed. Ex- basically inflamed and bloated. Right. And you're like, and oh, I'm bloated. I need yeah. to detox. You just know that all is not well with your body, especially yeah. as we get older. We have to pay closer attention to these things. Most definitely, because the body has been, you know, all this toxin disease doesn't just happen mm-hmm. um when you when we start to actually exhibit symptoms it means that something was already wrong for a while for, for a while on the inside mm-hmm. before it, it found started its manifesting way, yeah, on the physical and external level yeah. so yeah. when we when we're detoxing particularly when we start to hit the 40s you know by the time you're approaching your 35s and co you know, the the toxins have been accumulating all these years mm-hmm. and at that point symptoms now start to show, start yeah. to develop and stuff. And so we need to really pay attention. Right. Um, we have broken down the process or the detox process into three stages. Mm-hmm. And the three stages, as much as there are three stages, they're not necessarily separate. Or one after the other. Or they're one after the other. They're actually simultaneous. They work simultaneously and mm-hmm. all. Because one of the things with the body, like you said, it's a very intelligent machine. And so once you start to remove... Once you start to support it, almost immediately, it starts to respond Mm -hmm. in that way. Mm -hmm. So like the first stage of the three stages or principles of of detox, the first one is remove. Right. Then the second one is um, release. Mm -hmm. And the third one is repair. repair. So now that remove stage is where you remove... Um, harmful things you remove the the triggers from the immune triggers so the things that would trigger your body generally and you're removing it from your environment from your and environment, from your diet from your diet right. so this is when you remove pr- highly processed foods from your diet mm-hmm. this is when if you know that your body doesn't like granules i like to use granules because my body doesn't like it but my mouth loves it <laughs> so <laughs> you start to remove the granite from your body from your diet mm-hmm. someone like an uyok will remove pasta from mm-hmm. her diet mm-hmm. you will remove you know all those all the white um, foods the white foods the right. trans fat the gluten um, the glutens you know so those things we remove yeah, and then and whatever your, and whatever your body is allergic to, really remove it. And some you people you shouldn't even be eating it right. because it wears your system out. When your body says it doesn't like something, there's a reason it doesn't like there's it. There's a reason, and so don't force it, don't especially force when it. you want to support your body mm-hmm. to to remove and repair. There goes Gary and Equa for me, right? Like, <laughs> but you know, we're what? we yes. found substitutes, right? Which is great. Yes, we found substitutes. But you know, I like Gary in the sense that it's a fermented food. Is the it's, it's great you know, for your gut. Yeah, it is. Is the is the peanuts that that uh, that it's can the be protein? It will just help to slow worry. down how it enters your system. Right. But unfortunately, yeah, because of all the they, they go rancid. Their their method of they're not even yeah they're not um, processed well, properly. and then even some of the seeds that we have, have now molds on it. They've even been GMO'd, so mm-hmm. some of them are not. Um, they're not the p- pure strands. So right. for, there's a there's an enzyme in the granules that we have now, at least in Nigeria, right. that the body is not processing well. Yeah. I can't remember what it's it called. It just creates but all kinds of havoc. Right? Kinds of havoc. So you really want to be careful and be removing with downloading stuff. an entire yeah. bottle of groundnuts. You know, <laughs> downloading <laughs> that you buy in the streets. Yes. Yeah, so you know, of the store shelves, especially and all in of this that. COVID time when people are blowing into it and all. So please be mindful about how we actually eat <laughs> yeah. street food. It's true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Right. So after the release, the remove stage, mm-hmm. we now, this is where you have physically done something. You stopped removing the triggers. And the interesting thing with the body is as soon as you stop those triggers, your body gets to work. Right. And starts to now because sign no longer d- yes, It doesn't have to deal with. Yeah. Exactly. So like the analogy of the detox at this point is when you have closed the kitchen. The kitchen yeah. has stopped. There are no more plates coming out. Right. So when you're at the release stage. So yeah. this is now when the machine can now start washing mm-hmm. the backlog that it has. It takes its time. Yeah. So now what we now have to do, like like you had said earlier, the, body's an, is, the body is designed to eliminate mm-hmm. So where we come in is to now support that process. Yeah. So by doing the with right your things. Di- with your dishwasher, this is where you go and get the correct soap. Yeah. You use the right water. Mm-hmm. You don't stress it out mm-hmm. just so that you can at least get through this backlog before yeah. you can now think about buying another dishwasher to support um, you know, the new capacity that your machine now has to deal with. Right. So you're now supporting. So how do we support 
um, the releasing of the toxins, particularly that's where with our African foods, foods come in. Come in. Yeah. I mean, one of the things that I like about our protocol is we don't believe in um, hard and intense um, protocols. So we don't for say detoxification. No. Yeah, for anything actually. Yeah, we don't for say anything, even go on loss. a water diet. We yeah. don't say drink only water for a detox or drink because only because you're doing your juices. body more harm than good. Your body will just be holding on to those toxins as a man. Yeah, exactly, because toxins can actually recycle. And remember, um, toxins. You need to go back to our detox series. Yeah. Because toxins, your body stores f- um, toxins in fat cells. That's it. That's so true. if you're giving it a hash. Um, protocol trying to force that toxin out Mm -hmm. your fat cells have to will be holding on to it you have to do something that will make your body actually burn fat so that it can release the toxins exactly and then we go into the whole chemical chain of your mitochondria and your cellular (laughs) membrane you know being permeable enough to release the the toxins so it's stuff that you do gradually exactly and you do every day right you can't even yank out so you you just get injured (laughs) injured exactly so now one of the things that's happening at this stage is that your body to help your body start releasing you now want to um to support those elimination pathways the first place to go to is that liver because that mm-hmm. is the the powerhouse yeah. basically yeah. so now your body is producing bile oh yeah and then your body uses bile for two things to emulsify fat yeah. and also to carry out toxins out to of your body toxins so out. remember we said uh, we just said now that yeah. you can't just yank the toxins out you mm-hmm. have to do something to the fat yeah so that your body can release the toxins that are within the fat. And that's where you then need to encourage your body or support your body in producing bile. Mm-hmm. So now how do we support our bodies in producing bile? Bile has a bitter um, taste. It has a bitter taste profile. So when you puke and you haven't eaten, that yeah, you taste, can, yeah, 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 you can taste that it's sour. Mm-hmm. So you need foods that are sour, that are bitter, that will help to trigger that and ginger your body mm-hmm. to release it. And that's so we have things like bitter leaf, yes. you know, the dandelion, sour soap. Sour song, king, king of bitters. Yeah. So those kind of things work. And that's why, you know, the, there are some. They sell off the shelves. Yeah, that yeah. are really the bitter. Sweet Swedish, yeah, Swedish bitters. Yeah, the Swedish and bitters has, we've, has, been, has been around for the longest time, oh, but they are now Nigerian. Yeah, since we were five. Since before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> since before I was. I remember Swedish bitters yeah, was. Yeah, I remember it was that. eighteen something. I don't know yeah. that they, you know. But yeah. now, we, what I love about, you know. We Africa, have we have our own our versions own. now, yeah, of different. And some people yeah. wonder, oh, this bitter stuff. What do people really need it for? It's great this is for what you need it yes, for. Yes, it's really great for detoxifying that's and stimulating helping. bile yes, production. Stimula- yes, stimulating bile production. Yeah, that's very, it. very important. So now, at this same stage, mm-hmm. when your body is now okay, releasing more bile and trying to flush out all those toxins, yeah. we now need antioxidants and anti-inflammatory foods yeah. that will also help. Yeah. So um, because we want to be removing free radicals. I get the body genuinely ready for elimination, helping that process. Right, and as you said, it happens simultaneously. Exactly. So while we are activating, you know, the the bile, the release, the release of you know through the bile, we also want to eliminate, get yes, it out. And the and when we talk about support here, we're really talking about how you can support it through dietary intervention, yeah. dietary inter- and lifestyle. You yeah. know, your supplements, your diet, your movement. Yeah. Right. Um. And so with antioxidants and anti-inflammatories, for instance, when people have like painful joints and so forth that have been even made, that have been made even weaker yeah. with toxins. Yeah. Anti-inflammatories really help. To bring that, that inflammation. Yes. And you have stuff like pineapple. Mm-hmm. You know, I love pineapple, you know, bromelain, but fermented drink like apple cider vinegar, which is yes. my, in fact, it's my st- standard, standard, <laughs> standard in New York's house. Yes. <laughs> standard with every meal is with every meal. You know, we do the ACV. Well, if, uh, once we finish that, we just, once we finish a meal, we just have some ACV to <laughs> yes, self calm. <laughs> and it's amazing. We should actually do a whole se- a series, um, session on, on ACV because yes, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It just, Regulates your blood sugar, yeah. takes, uh, you know, takes, re, re, reorders your gut as well. So it's yeah. also into, um, yeah. anti-inflammatory and, and, and antioxidant. Exactly. And then our favorite, uh, uh, one of our favorites as well, turmeric and black pepper tea. That's right. We have a recipe on our Instagram page. So you, you should, should check, check that out. out. Yeah. At, and, um, um, at True Living Africa, that, 
that turmeric and black pepper tea yeah. recipe is on there. It's something you can do every day or every morning. Yeah. Um, it's not, you know, but obviously you have to be careful with the stain of turmeric, but turmeric is, turmeric yeah. is really, really, yeah. It's, it's great. And you know, you can cook with it as well. Even mm-hmm. if you don't want to drink it like a tea, you can yeah. cook with it. You can make your curries, your stews, mm-hmm. add it to your smoothie. Mm-hmm. Um, or you can eat yellow rice. That's, is, that's <laughs> with, true. Turmeric. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Another thing too is, um, lemon. So lemon in water. Yeah. So lemon too is also great um, in vitamin C. It's an antioxidant. So yeah. lemon is also a good thing that you can drink. But be mindful that it can, if you're drinking lemon too often, it can actually affect the enamel of your teeth. Mm-hmm. So you want to sort of use a straw right. as much as possible or rinse out your mouth when you're done. Yeah. And then... Um, so just have it infused with your water because obviously... Water is the number one thing. It's an, and you need water in this stage. Remember, yeah. we're trying to eliminate toxins out of that system. Right. And if you think about it, how do all these things flow in the body? It it's has water. to be water. Yeah. You know, it has to be in a liquid form. form. So yeah. we need things that we even help the, the kidney. Yeah. So as much as the liver is now producing bile, we now have antioxidants that are helping the body flow out. Mm-hmm. We now also have to support the kidney as well so that it's also flushing out the toxins. Exactly. As well, so we need to take things like garden eggs, celery. Yes, those cucumber, are like diuretics, diuretics that help flush excess water from water your, from your system. So would yeah. ginger <laughs> <laughs> your kidneys yes. to work? So you're now drink. You are also drinking a lot of water. As, apart from eating this kind of fruits that are local to us here in in Africa, in West Africa, yeah. there's grapefruit as well. Yeah, um, watermelon, carrots, lemon, tiger so, nut milk, oily fish, tiger nut milk. Yeah, and even brown rice. Millet. Yes, yeah. yes, especially if you're trying to cut out. The gluten and the other, you know, refined starchy foods. So if you, if you're not wanting to go on a fully, um, green, mm-hmm. you know, detox. Which is interesting. Yeah. Cause yeah, you know, you want to be able to have like whole grain foods because of the fiber. You know, that's an interesting point because most diets. Yeah. will tell you, most diet protocols will tell, most detox protocols will tell you to cut out most of most foods yeah most foods anything cooked or whatever yeah so you're yeah, only drinking you don't really drinks need, and yeah, you really don't need to do that yeah because it just makes you tired exactly yeah and you need the fiber um and which comes which brings me to the chief of all you know detoxif- detoxification mm. food groups which is leafy green and yes. cruciferous vegetables cruciferous vegetables um, those are good. like second to water those are the best things you can ever do yeah and if you even Everybody fall into if you get into a habit you know, make it intentional. Get into a habit where you have at least one meal. Although our protocols will always suggest that you have leafy greens or any kind of mm-hmm. veg with all your meals yeah. as much as possible. Because yeah. the fiber is necessary Very. to clean out your gut. Yeah. But if you're not able to do that with every meal, make it a habit. Be intentional about having one green meal a day. Yeah. It could be stir fried. It could be steamed. It could be raw. Mm. Raw is better, but not everyone can handle raw yeah. greens. Yeah. But it's important that you have that one meal where I you like have my all. Cooked. Yeah, I all your. Like raw. Yeah, I like. I don't like your, I don't raw. like it. I don't like drinking it, but yeah, um, just to support what you're saying. Yeah, so you can you can blend it what in whatever form. Yeah. Right. So my one of my favorite. Get it in. Yes, one of my favorite go-to green drinks is the cucumber parsley. Um, then I put some apple in there just to give to it some, it. yeah, to sweeten it. Then I have ginger, I've got mint, and then sometimes we add, um, what's that leaf we added the other time to, to parsley. take it? Parsley. No, it wasn't parsley, it was coriander. Was coriander. Yeah. yeah. So we had coriander and parsley, and it gave yeah. it this, you know, took it to a whole new level. Yeah. But my, yeah. yeah, my favorite green drink is water leaf and mm-hmm. parsley. Right. I love parsley. Right. Parsley is just a fantastic go-to detox. Yeah. Um, and so having this either every morning or last thing at night. At night. One thing I know about that detox drink is that if you're trying to lose weight, for mm-hmm. instance, right, or you're on a weight management program, program, what that does when you have it last, last thing at night, it kind of prevents weight gain. Mm-hmm. And it helps you just sort of balance out your mm-hmm. weight. Yeah. And so if you're even eating normally, having your, you know, pasta, whatever at lunch, when you have that detox drink at night, it really helps flush your systems. And when you think about it, yeah. by the time you go to the bathroom, by by the time you're sweating and your, your kidneys are functioning properly, your liver 
you know, your weight management will be a lot yeah. easier. I you would think say. about it, but your body at night is healing. That's a good time to heal. So mm-hmm. if you are knocking it out just before you go to bed, if you are packing it in yeah. with um, all those alkalining um, properties from the green drink, exactly, yeah, giving your body the ammunition it needs to really flush out and repair overnight. Overnight, that's that's. It. I know, and then in the morning you wake up, you drink a tall glass of water to now really help that flushing mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. System and then you can go to the bathroom hopefully yeah yeah and eliminate and eliminate yes. and that takes us to the last to the next stage of repair yeah so remember we said that they are all flowing simultaneously so mm-hmm. as much as we're saying re, um, release remove and release, release and repair repair is also happening simultaneously yeah. and it's interesting that's what. That's why some of, that's why I love and why some of African foods or some, some herbs always come across as confusing because mm-hmm. some of them do the same. They do different things. Yeah. So like, let's take ginger. So like, okay, sorry, let me explain the remove process, which is where we are now. So we've re, um, removed, we've released. Now, now we're about the repair, repair sorry. Process, yeah. So now the repair process is now when you're helping your body to repair. You've removed toxins, but if there was cellular damage or tissue damage or whatever damage mm-hmm. that may have been going on from all the inflammation yeah. that w- your body was going through from all the toxins, this is where it now starts to repair. So you need a different set of helpers to help it do that. Mm-hmm. So now some herbs or some fruits our African work, helpers. Yes, they yeah. oh, they work simultaneously. So let's take ginger for yeah. example. Mm-hmm. So ginger was necessary in the um release stage in the stage before because it helps your body to release toxins. But then also in the repair stage, it's also helping your body. It's a, it's great for the intestines and for your gut. Yeah. It helps to improve liver function, which is also happening in the um, stage before, you know, your liver is working throughout. It helps to flush out toxins from the blood and from the lymph nodes. It helps to increase your metabolism. So ginger is a powerhouse for almost everything. Every stage of detoxification. Yeah, in herbal medicine, they call it a tonic. Yeah. Because it actually permeates all your cells, all your tissues. It's useful for almost every part. Yeah. Every body function. It's yeah. ridiculous how power and power packed ginger is. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing that we need in the repair stage is we're now bringing in good bacteria. So again, your fermented, probiotics, yeah, probiotics. fermented foods. Yeah. Exactly. It's so key. It's so key because a lot of us are, you know, a lot of, a lot of us have got like low level irritable bowel syndrome, leaky gut. And, and all of these are showing now that we're, yeah. we're approaching our forties now. Quite everything just manifesting. Yeah, like, like, I used this? to be able to eat all this stuff and you know not have any issues, but, but now you know it's an accumulation, like we said earlier. So, yeah. um, probiotics are really important in the sense that they re- they replace the the gut flora. Yeah. The good bacteria and the gut that, yeah. that tends to be stripped out when we take drugs and medicines like antibiotics and so forth. Or belly blast tea. Or belly blast <laughs> or detox tea. Yes, or detox tea. And that's not to say I'm not knocking them. We're not knocking them because they do come in handy. Yeah. Take it from me. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the but constipation you yeah, queen. However, you, yeah, you don't want to be taking laxatives every, every day. day. That's what happens because there was a t- season where I was always constipated. I mean, I've always been constipated as yeah. a child. It was ridiculous. But I then discovered them body, um, belly fat and detox teas. And so I got addicted to it because it was just helping. But yeah. what that does is that, um, your body becomes dependent, dependent on it and on it strips it. your body of the natural of all the good bacteria yes yeah. and it's natural ability to, to eliminate, eliminate. On your its body own. gets lazy it's just yeah. waiting for that center to come in yeah. and, and yeah. shake and flush. things yeah. into place so yeah. i had so i had to then go through a detox yeah. <laughs> of the detoxing detox myself from the detox from the tea. detox tea <laughs> yeah so that and then re- retrain um, my system and balance with your fiber with um, my fibers. Yes, I'm balanced with your fiber. Fiber is so key. Fiber so probiotics so key. in in, for, in the form of fermented foods. What kind yeah. of fermented foods are we talking about? Let's go back to Gary. Right. Gary is just good. It's full. Oh, it's fermented. It's full of fiber as well. So it's really good. So even if you don't feel like drinking the Gary, you can just add water to it and drink the water yeah. of the Gary. Exactly. And that so especially if you're concerned about the, the high the starch, carb yeah. profile of, of, of the Gary. Then so the other thing like kimchi. 
tea. Um, um, pap as well. Some people drink the water of pap. Yes. Again, because yeah. of that fermented, um, yeah. it's fermented. So just drinking the water gets you all the good stuff. Yeah. And you don't necessarily need to, to drink the pap. Yeah. Itself. Um, apple, apple cider vinegar comes in. Yeah. Another thing is kunu. Yes, yes. I, li- I like kunu well. myself. Yeah. So kunu, that's from the northern part of Nigeria. Yeah. And no, uh, tiger nut milk as well. And that can also be fermented. Yeah. But doesn't so it, taste as good. It doesn't good. taste as good. I know. But don't be afraid of fermented drinks and At vegetables. All. And then locust beans. Right. Um, iru. That's iru. So things like that. Just go for it. Yeah. Another, another thing I wanted to point out in terms mm. of, you know, elimination is movement and sweat. Movement and sweat. Right. So there are those physical things that we need to do. Those as are physical well. things we need to do. And, um, I know that we're talking about detoxifying with African foods, but in our environment and, and in our climate where people, some people don't really, some people equate exercise with going to the gym and some, you know, complicated yeah. stuff. It doesn't have to be that way. But yeah. what we need to understand is that. In order for your skin, which is a huge detoxification pathway, to eliminate, you need to be able to work up a sweat. Yeah. And so you get out there, get your heart rate up. You can skip at home if your neighborhood is not safe. Yeah. Um, you can walk up and down your stairs. You can walk up and down your stairs if you've got stairs. Yeah. Or just, you, you know, walk around the compound your, your if house. you're not able to leave the house. Yes. But you need to get your metabolism up, your system. Right. And um, if you even notice, um, even though we are not, we don't, you know, use the scale as a measure of our self worth mm-hmm. or whatever we've accomplished. If you, if you get up in the morning and you, before you eliminate with your bowels, right? And you step on the scale just as an, as an experiment, you may, you see that after eliminating, you're a few grams lighter. I'm going to check that out. Yes. So step on the scale and then go to the bathroom to and step. Poop <laughs> yes. And go back on the scale. <laughs> <laughs> then, after you've done that, go for a, sh- a run, right? Uh-huh. Work up a sweat, come back and step on the scale and see what happens. So, th- for that one, I would imagine that you would be heavier after you've gone for the run because your muscles are... No, nothing strenuous. I'm talking about just working up a good sweat. Okay. Cardio. If you go for a weight, a, a strength training session, okay, yeah, your don't muscles bother. Will be, yeah, yes, your, your muscles are going to be stuff, heavier. Heavy. But if you go for a, a run... A medium, you know, a mid tempo kind of aerobic workout. Okay. Work up a good sweat. Step on the scale again and you see that the water, the elimination and the pulling out of the water from your body is going to make you a few grams lighter. Lighter. You yeah. can also do that with a sauna as well. So you can right. go to the sauna exactly. or steam room. So, but you have to to basically out. say once um, you've eliminated through your skin and yeah. you get on the scale. Yeah. That you can actually see the There's, difference. Yeah, that would, actually, that is interesting. I'm going to try those two things yes, out. Yes, give that it a try. So give interesting. It a, a good try. I know. I also realized that we didn't even mention garlic and onions. Those are powerhouses. And in fact, one of the major things that people use right now to get them through um, a COVID infection mm-hmm. is when they, um, you know, steam yeah. the garlic and onions and yeah. inhale it and all that yeah. lovely stuff goes into your lungs and helps to just clear. I'm just um, happy to eat it. Just eat it. Swallow it whole, Just yeah. crush it into your food. Yeah. I've been, I've been known to slice, um, I mean, I've been known to crush garlic and yeah. add it to my, <laughs> yes, you are the garlic add it queen. To my food. Slice I, up my onions, add it to my food. And I have to remind you that, uh, we have you know a meeting today. So, right. should be like, you know that there are pills. So. Right. And we've got a meeting on Thursday. So no garlic no on garlic Thursday today. morning, please. <laughs> <laughs> or garlic after the meeting. <laughs> oh my god! I always, I'm always because like, when, when my friends come, I'm like, I'm I always like, my husband must love garlic <laughs> because it's going to be a garlic As house in, a <laughs> <laughs> in an obvious way. In it's not like the subtle one where you you know do your no. stir fries with them. No, this is oh, like MG, we're having garlic like, for dinner. <laughs> So yes, your garlic, your onions, your ginger, and this, you know, um, like we say, we like to really put a put a torch on our local foods because yes. we believe that eating local, local is more sustainable. sustainable. Yeah. Um, I mean, what happens but if you're dependent on certain imported foods and then then a lockdown happens? A lockdown happens, <laughs> and you can't. <laughs> I mean, no, but this is actually serious because yeah. you, um, you one of my mentors, favorite, you know, someone staples. that I worked with, passed away during COVID. So she had been, um, she was had been ill and had been getting treatment abroad. Yeah. And so when the lockdown happened, she was locked down here. And so when 
she, the medication that she needed, she ran out of it. Because of was, the supply chain The supply chain was, yeah, was, disrupted. was disrupted. So she couldn't get her medication, blah, blah, blah. And wow. we lost her. Wow. And that's, that's a powerful that's really thing. Sad. Yeah. yeah. If we can keep things sustainable. Yeah, keep things local. It's, uh, it it's local. a good way to go because we've got so much stuff. We've we got have a treasure. So much stuff. A treasure trove of stuff. That so we haven't even maximized. Absolutely. So yeah, um, interesting. Great stuff. stuff. So yeah. takeaways. Takeaways is, um, your body just needs support. Right. So support your body in any way that you can but right. first off remove so that's my first takeaway then yeah. the second takeaway is that removing the triggers is also a very very important part and if that's all you even do that's sometimes, a great thing to it's do it's a great help for your body yeah my takeaway is keeping things local um yeah. you know knowing that we can do our fancy or night or you know regular detoxes with african foods we can that's so live a liberating. great life yes it's so liberating keep it local just yeah. figure out you know ways to incorporate these things we've just mentioned into your diet yeah. and you know you're in, you'll be in a good place and can keep moving so keep that you moving. can sweat out and release toxins through your skin yeah and um and yeah that's that's it yeah. and so you know pick up the other episodes from you know where, wherever you get your podcast on iTunes Anchor and, and download from www.africabusinessradio.com. Also follow us on Instagram and Twitter yeah. at Africa Business Radio and at True Living Africa. And if you feel like you need a detox or you need support in just even wading through all of this and finding out what works for you, please reach out. Reach out to us on um, Instagram. Just send us a DM. Right. Slide into our DM. And we're there to help you. <laughs> Thank you, Africa. Thank you for listening. On that note, see you next time. <laughs> see you next time.